baking bread. Regular bread. The one that my grandma used to make back in Armenia. Well, it's not gonna be the exactly same one because she used to make it with sourdough starter and also she used to bake it in a tandoori, in tonish. I don't have tandoori when I'm... That's one of my dreams actually. When I have more time and more... I don't know. Um, anyways, that's on my bucket list. Okay, so what we need for the draw, draw, dough, because it was usually made by sourdough and I know not everyone likes to hustle with sourdough starter, uh, we're making this with regular yeast, but we are going to um, create that sourdough effect by making a starter with the yeast. And all we need for that starter is some regular flour, all purpose. A tablespoon of yeast and I'll get the flour first. Oh, I have this. Cup. One cup of flour and one cup of warm <laughs> warm water. Make sure the water is lukewarm. A tablespoon of sugar. This will uh, all these extra ingredients, sugar and Whole wheat flour will make that sourdough effect uh, more stronger. I mean, not the sugar and with uh, flour. Just adding this will create some sort of um, tanginess. Okay, let me explain very quickly what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make mix this um, until it's smooth. And, and I'm going to set this aside for overnight, at least 8 to 10 or even 12 hours to rest and rise. When it takes the, when you let, let the yeast and all that mixture oops, sit for that long time, for such a long time, it becomes sort of a, it creates that tan, sour taste and that bubbly effect in breads. So it's not sourdough, but it's still some kind of um, sourdough tasting bread. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cover this with plastic and you don't have to um, cover it with plastic. The um, towel will, will work and if it has a, I can't find the top for this, the lid for this um, jar. That's why I'm covering with it plastic. And I'm going to set this aside for a long time. And of course I prepared another one. In about, this was I made yesterday night. So in that time, I want you to see what's gonna turn out. Turn out. It's all bubbly, it already smells very sour. So this will be our starter, let's say, for our doll. And to that starter, I'm also adding um, one and a half cups of, again, very warm water. Sometimes I even add a little bit of milk. It makes the bread um, even softer and better. Well, this bread, my grandma used to, usually when she make her bread, she would make regular circle breads. Um, she'd call them... Um, Ton rahats, like bread that has been baked in tandoori. And then she also would make a circle bread with a hole in the center. Those she would call losh. Uh, and losh again means bread. Um, back in old days they used to call bread losh. So it's a bread, okay? Very delicious, very, very good bread. I'm going to... Okay, I'll set this aside for a quick second. In my bowl. Usually I do this with hand, but um, when I have this guy standing here, I don't want him to just stand there and do nothing. This time I'm using my mixer. What I'm trying to say, it's okay to do your bread dough with hands. I'm placing some of my flour in my bowl. We're gonna need about three and a half to four cups of flour. And in the center, I'm pouring my starter. It's like a, okay. 
everything, every single bit. And then I'll start mixing this gently with spoon and then transfer uh, to, <laughs> to its place and knead about 10 minutes or until the dough comes together. As this starts to mix about 3 to 5 minutes, I'm going to add my salt. And then in a little bit later, uh, although she'd never add oil, I'm also adding a little bit, a tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil. So I'll, I'll, start, I'll start mixing this and add my extra ingredients later. As the dough turns elastic, it's time to slightly knead it, knead it with your hands and transfer it into a large bowl to rest and rise about, I, I, I'd say about an hour or so. These days, in this heat, everything, everything, bread dough usually, yeast dough rises very quickly. So I'll transfer this on to my surface, lightly flour. Don't try not to use too much flour. And the dough may be very sticky and a little bit wet looking, but it will it will get better and better as you need a little bit more. Okay, the longer you need, the less sticky the dough will become. So this looks okay. This is a sticky dough in general, but don't be stressed. Uh, when, it, when you bake it, it won't be sticky anymore. <laughs> Have you ever eaten sticky bread? No. So don't, don't panic and continue kneading. Don't add too much flour. I'm going to lightly, lightly drizzle some vegetable oil on my bowl and just transfer my dough in there just like that and I'll send this to rest a couple of not minutes an hour or more than that I need to wash my hands and I have prepared the dough as well so I'll show you how it looks we can start shaping the breads Okay, I, I, I have a feeling it's gonna pop out. Mm. I, think I, I took very small... <laughs> Oops! <laughs> okay, my mistake. Get a bigger uh, bowl. Um, I thought this is gonna be enough. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so this is the one I made earlier. Like, why are you eating sugar? You can't do that. Okay, and because I oiled the pan, it's very much um, uh, cohesent. I don't have to add anything else for this time. Um, I lined my baking pans with foil. You can also use parchment paper or anything, non-sticky. And I want to bake four breads. I'll make two regular circles. Huh? That's for Kaftra, Kusin found them. And then I'll make two losh, <laughs> the ones with circle and hole in, in the center. I may need just a little bit of flour or oil, just something to help you work with the dough. Okay. Like Play-Doh. Okay. Yeah, it's Play-Doh, but don't cut, okay? So I oil my hands. Okay. And I'm going to make this 
Okay. It's sticky. It's sticky. It's very sticky. And I'm going to Wasn't make it? a like ball gently and place on my lightly oiled baking pan and just let it set for now. So I'll set this aside and continue shaping the rest. What is this? I don't know. You don't know? It's a black spot. Okay. I wonder, you're eating sugar again? Yeah? Did you ask me? Huh? No, you didn't. You can't do that, Arka. Close it. Shutara. Shutara. I changed my mind. I decided to do two very small ones with the holes. As, as, as children, when we were um, spending our summer vacation um, in countryside, my grandma's house, um, every time she baked bread, she would give us some to take for her neighbors. And she knew it's a freshly baked bread and we're children, at uh, of course we're gonna take a bite or at least um, try to um, eating that bread. So she'd make for us little small ones. I, I'm gonna reshape this one. I didn't like how it turned out. She'd give us these small loshiks with holes in there and we would place it on our wrist and eat it on the way to neighbor's house. Yeah. So I'll make <laughs> two of them for just for a reminder. So I'm going to just quickly show you how I do that uh, shape. Um, you're going to make the dough look like a circle or round. Place it in on your uh, play, uh, tray and then with your fingers try to make a hole in the center and go bigger and bigger. I don't know why it's not working very well today. Okay, and just like this you're gonna kind of make that hole bigger. I'll try to do the rest of them better looking. <laughs> okay, like that. And I'll do this one too. these uh, three breads I'm going to cover it with some lightly cover it with plastic or damp towel to rest a couple of let's say 10 to 15 minutes and I started preheating my oven to 525 degrees the highest um, ten. it's not the highest but it needs to bake in high temperature so I'll shape this last one and this last one I'll make a regular circle. Should make it a flat bread Mom. and uh, with, and that with her fingers. Mom. Huh. Can you can you put crackers and milk? Yes. One minute, but there can is the top end. Oh no, hold on, press one minute. Just like this. So I'll set this aside to rest 10-15 minutes. By then my oven will be very hot and we can bake this probably 15 to 20 minutes or until it's nice golden color. Mommy, Hajan. Can you? Aka, how peru chun chun es tu toges? So I make I bake the little ones, the tiny ones first of all, and I raised the oven temperature to 550. Uh, I don't know, is there my oven or something is wasn't right with the temperature? I'll check with this one. And it's better if you bake, um, let's say, seven minutes on the lower rack and then the rest of the time, let's say another seven minutes or ten minutes on the highest rack. So that's just a suggestion. That way the bread rises better and then it's, it bakes much better. That's it, this was the last one and we 
ate the first one already. So good, so delicious. You can just eat it by itself. I look really like it with some butter and eggplant spread. Tastes absolutely delicious. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, so I'll put down detailed recipe on my blog at hefine.com. Check it out. Try to make this bread the most delicious losh. <laughs> and thank you everyone for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll see you soon. Lucian Jan, how do you get back to the